Question. DS. Is the quadrilateral PQRS shown in the figure above a rhombus? Condition 1. Angle PQR is equal to angle PSR. Condition 2. The length of PQ is equal to the length of QR. Solution. Let's solve this DS question using the variable approach. A quadrilateral has five variables, so E is the most likely answer. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find whether the quadrilateral PQRS is a rhombus. Follow the second and third steps. Let's modify the original condition and the question. Then, a quadrilateral has five variables mentioned as above. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need five more equations, since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each. It's about 80% likely E is the answer. Recall three principles and choose E as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at conditions 1 and 2 together. Conditions 1 and 2 tell us that angle PQR is equal to angle PSR, and the length of PQ is equal to the length of QR. It's possible that the measures of angles P, Q, R, and S are right angles, as in the figure on the left above. This means that we have a square. And in this case, the answer is yes, since squares are rhombuses. However, if the quadrilateral looks like the figure on the right above, where angles Q and S are right angles, and the length of PQ and QR are equal to each other, it is not a rhombus, and the answer is no. Since we do not obtain a unique solution, conditions 1 and 2 combined are not sufficient by CMT1 which means that you get both yes and no. It is not sufficient. The answer is E because there are five variables. The superiority of the variable approach really stands out in Geometry DS questions. Both conditions 1 and 2 together are not sufficient. Thus E is the correct answer. Answer E.